Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the Infinity Vision platform. Right now I'll be doing one such question that came in your medical entrance examination. This question came on NEET 2017. So let us see this question first. Question says the resistance if a wire is R ohm, if a resistance of a wire is R ohm, if it is melted and stretched to n times its original length. Okay, so you have been given a wire whose resistance is R. Okay, let its length be L and areas cross section let it be A. Okay, now if it is melted and stretched to n times its original length. Okay, so now its original length becomes now if it is melted and its length becomes n times of L, obviously its area would become 1 upon n times. Okay, now what would be the new resistance that you need found? Let its resistance be R new. Okay, let the resistivity of this material be rho. Obviously, the resistance of this wire is R is equal to rho L by A. This is the relationship of resistance, length and area. Okay, and rho is the resistivity of this material. The resistivity material does uh, the resistivity of a material does not depends upon the length and area. It only depends upon the material which have been taken. So they, these two have similar material because this this has been melted to become this resistor. So the resistivity of both of them would be similar. Okay. So what would be the new resistance? So the new resistance would be rho. New length is n times of L. And what about area? New area would be 1 by n times. Obviously, if it is stretched, so its area of cross section also reduces. Obviously, if it is stretched to n times, then the area would be reduced by 1 by n times. Okay. If it is flattened and its length becomes, uh, if length reduces, then its area then its area increases that you should remember okay because these two would have similar volumes okay so the new resistance is this and n goes in the upward so it would becomes n square rho l by a so it is equal to n square times of r so the new resistance that are coming out to be which is n square times of the previous value so the the answer that we are getting is b option which is the correct option that we are getting okay similar case can also be concluded if it is flattened and it it's ready uh, if its length becomes l by n times so the area would becomes n by n into a times obviously if length reduces its area becomes more okay so this is a relation that you can easily calculate okay so in eventually you can also calculate the new resistance that that it can have Okay, so the answer would be n squared into r times. I hope this question is clear to everyone. Thank you.